All right, we've survived the uh, tropical storm Henri. It uh, was a hurricane, but it all, when it got to here, we've been downgraded, and the more closer it got to us, the track changed, and basically we just got a little bit of rain. Hardly any wind at all. And today is um, something I've been dreading, and that is working up on the soffits and fascias and getting all that stuff up on the roof ready to go and i spent a couple hours this morning um setting up staging up here and you know the higher you go the longer it takes and of course if you spend half the time going up and down the ladder because you forgot something or whatever. But you can see I've got <clears throat> staging planks up here. And um, I took a little time this morning and added these blocks on here. Power plane the ends of the eight by eights. And this is really ready to go for uh, Next thing I'm going to do is add a fascia on here and then snap a line and I'd like to get one row of boards, sheathing boards on here um, before I have people come and help. It's really pretty safe. Um, of course it wouldn't make meet some people's safety standards but I mean, if you fell, it's like six feet to the roof, roll down eight feet to the ground. So you'd probably be pretty bruised, but you wouldn't, you wouldn't die. <laughs> Anyways, so <clears throat> the plan is to sheathe one half and put the, um, the high temperature ice and water shield on this half and then um, move all the staging to the other side and do the same thing and leave the staging on the other side so I can do the roof, the metal roof over there and then move the staging back over here, do this side of the metal roof and then be off of the um, high spots. So <clears throat> there you have it. There's uh, and of course it's gonna be uh, unbearably hot and humid today for the next couple of days. So, um, I don't really know how much I'm going to get done up here. So I'm just going to get things prepped. And um, we'll see. Maybe I'll work on something downstairs in the shade. <clears throat> All right. Let me go find some material to... Uh, the, the other problem up here is there's no good place to put the camera. It'll, I'll knock it off the staging. I'm not wearing it on myself because it's already hot and sticky out so i'm just gonna have to show you uh the progress as it goes along i guess so it's not the optimal situation but we're just gonna have to make do all right hold on All right, well, there's uh, all the sheathing boards that I have cut from the uh, big cant, the 12 by 10 cants or 12 by 12s, whatever they were. It's not quite enough to do half the roof, I don't think. It might be, but it's gonna be close. I know I don't have enough sawn to do the entire roof, so I'm gonna have to do some resawing, but. Anyway, there's some material up here for when it, the uh, sun goes down and I can work up here because it's just too dang hot in the sun. And you, can't, you can't realize it on the camera, but uh, it's pretty hot and humid. So stay tuned. There will be more work going on.
All right, tomorrow is Friday, and hopefully it's gonna rain Saturday, Sunday, or shower, so the plan, now we got literally this half of the roof done, is to work on that half of the roof tomorrow. And it's real looking really good in here. Uh, there's a few things I have to do today, or way ahead of schedule, I didn't even think we'd get the staging moved over, but. There are two of these tails which I cut off. I have to reinstall them. Uh, and then I have to snap a line as a starting line up there for the, for the roof deck. And I'm gonna actually spend the remainder of the work day outside here resawing um, cants for the roof deck because that's all I've got left over for roofing and uh, that's not even close to being enough. So uh, I'm gonna go in and take another break because it's hot again. Hopefully this is the end of the 90 degree um, high humidity days because they're killing me. Anyways, um, turn the camera off. We got a bunch of stuff done this morning so I'm thrilled and we'll just keep pecking away at it. I haven't filmed stuff because it's just been a race every morning to get out here early, early and work before it gets hot. So just camera time has been limited. But I also put up yesterday, I put up some of these brackets. There's six of them on this side. I'm gonna put a few more of them in. Uh, I'm calling them hurricane straps. Um, can't use regular hurricane straps because the 8x8, the top plate's too wide, and the 6x6 doesn't land close to the back edge. So I'm gonna have to, I'm having to use something a little longer and stronger. And uh, I think I'm gonna put in a few more on this side, and that's gonna, you know, one, I've got six, I'm gonna put another three in. And so it'll be nine in each side, and I'm calling that good enough for hurricane season. They got two inch screws in them, so. All right, uh, that's it. There's your update. Now it's uh, go in, hose myself off, and get up enough ambition to come back out and saw wood in the sun. It's Friday morning, and today's project is to get all the sheathing put on this side and along with the ice and water shield. And that'll be the last part of the roof before I put metal roofing on. And it actually, hopefully it'll help keep the barn a little drier. But one of the things I have to do this morning is when I put this rafter on, obviously it had to be cut. But that's the end piece that got cut off. So I gotta screw that back on, make sure it's in the right spot. Can you see that? Uh, has the this one? There's one down there, and then uh, this has got to get power planed off even, so it's not interfering with the uh, roof deck. All right, that goes there. I need like eight hands.
Gotta go get a fresh battery. Hold on. It looks a little low. Take it back off and raise it up a little bit. looks pretty good it's a little high here but uh, I'm gonna power plane this all off so I'm not worried about that all right time for the power planer Bring it up. It's later in the day. Uh, we finished uh, the roof sheathing at around noon time, and it was just really hot, so we just stayed away. But that's what it looks like from the underside. That side has the uh, high temperature ice and water shield on, and this side will hopefully get it tomorrow. But I think it looks amazing. I think you could live in here. Let's see what it looks like outside. All right, I'm not going up. Oh, I'm not going all the way up there. But you can see we got, uh, I still have to trim the ends. We got some, I got to uh, move the ladder over here so that I can uh, work on this section. Yeah, there you go. I got to move the ladder over here so I can put the green on. And I got to put uh, fascia on here and the drip edge before we put the green on. So. There's a little bit more work to do tomorrow morning. It's supposed to finally be cool. Front is supposed to come through tonight, so. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I don't live down south. I don't know how, how people do it when it's hot and humid all summer long. How do you get anything done? Anyways, uh, that's it for today. The sun is going down and uh, it's, Friday and Friday's a pizza day, so can't wait for pizza. <laughs> See you later. 
All right, here is a look of where, look at where we're at right now. I got some of the ice and water shield on this morning. And I guess you can, can you see that? Um, that's what I've got left to do is over there. And so I'll, uh, I'll film some of this. should be going slower. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Sunday morning. Today, I can't start on the house till tomorrow. And uh, yesterday we finished the putting up the green stuff on the roof on the barn. But today is a bunch of odds and ends. 
And one of the first projects is, this is the hay chute, or throw hay down from up in the loft. And I've had this uh, two by six here for way too long supporting that part of the floor. But that's gonna disappear today. So let me take you upstairs and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we are upstairs. You can see I cut back this flooring so it's even and I made up this bracket and I am not a steel fabricator of any kind but you know I dabble in it um, and a guy that I have a lot of respect for gave me a tip when I was trying to bend these things just in the vise and you get a rounded corner and it's really hard to get an exact dimension he said just cut that off halfway through the hacksaw and weld it so and i'm not much of a welder but i think that that'll hold so this is what i've come up with to replace that two by six is this just <clears throat> i'll turn it around here it actually just fits right on here it's going to get spray painted and screwed in place and uh, i think that that's going to be you know plenty strong enough for what i need to do and it gets it, that two by six out of the way downstairs. So I'm gonna spray paint this and screw it in place. And I'll give you a quick shot of what it looks like afterwards. And that's something that's been on the list for way too long. Well, there you have it, quick and dirty. Whoops, hopefully you can see it. It's uh, an easy solution to this problem. All right, on to the next project.